So in the newer filters update, the style transfer has been updated even more. So this style transfer filter basically applies selected artistic styles or image styles to your images, hopefully sparking new creative ideas. And then it gives you editability of how much and how intense and how bright and how saturated. It's basically just another feature that allows your creativity to go in places you may not have thought of. It's one of those filters where you just have to go in and play. So in 2021, we had the image styles. We had a whole list of image styles and they've been changed a little bit and upgraded. This year, we also have something that's called artist styles, where it has currently about 10 different artist styles that you can apply to your art. And I see how this can be applied to everyone, photographers, graphic designers, digital artists, so that you can take a regular image and floor a direction pretty quickly to see what you want. Even if you're a retail portrait photographer and you're doing a family photograph, you can see how this would very quickly become an avenue for monetizing your images for Christmas cards or postcards. Think about fashion and or commercial work. So again, this is just one of those filters where you sit down on a Friday night with your beverage of choice and you just play for hours and hours and hours. I'm gonna show you a few applications in this video. Hope you enjoy it. Yes! Style transfer, which again is in filter neural filters. And quick side note, when you launch neural filters for the first time after the update, you're gonna to have to download all of the new artistic styles to your computer. Just click that icon. And then go down to style transfer, toggle it on. This artist style category is 100% new. This is where it opens by default. It's gonna look like this panel over here that you can drag down to see what's there. Originally, back in 2021, these are the image styles that were released, although they've added a few new ones this year, like these two are brand new. And what it does is it gives you a quick jump start on some image style presets that if you're doing digital painting, you're doing graphic design, or you're creating some kind of promotional piece for your photography business and and or maybe you're doing a digital painting for the photography business it gives you a quick jump start but what i'd recommend that you do is remember photoshop basically gives you every filter every image style at a hundred percent so it's like turning on a radio to a new station but the volume's cranked so loud that you don't know if you like it or not so generally always pull down the the loudness the intensity of whatever is being applied let's find something that's maybe more intense maybe this one. See, look at the style opacity when it's at 100%. I don't think I, I like that as much, but if I pull that back to like half volume, well, that has a really nice feel to it for a, a, a starting point. Do the starry night. And again, that's at about 50%, but look at it at 100%. It becomes more illegible. But again, when you're just applying a taste of the, uh, the style, like a percentage of it. Do you see how nice and painterly that looks? So again, you have a lot of options, but that's the same with this new category of artist styles. So now I can apply an artist style at a lower opacity and look at that 50% opacity as opposed to the 100%. See, I would argue most of these don't look good at 100%. They're just super abstract, really in depth in far as how it's it's just totally morphing the image. But again, pull back that opacity to 30 to 70% and you're gonna find ones that you hated at 100 look really beautiful. Look how beautiful and simple that looks. If I uh, up the saturation a touch and then hit OK, go back to Photoshop, notice it compresses everything to its own layer right at the top. And now I can do all of my normal stuff. Like if I wanted to add a levels adjustment layer because it looked a little flat and brighten that up a touch, there we go. And then I can always lower the opacity just a touch to kind of come back with some of the original texture and detail of the image underneath. You just have so many creative options with that. I think this gives you a lot of new tools to realize your ideas. Hey, if you like this video, it helps. You can help me. Smack it, whack it, and crack a lack it. Take care. I like subscribers. That's awesome. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I did. This is Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. <laughs>